I'm Tyler Locker, driver of the number 418 Blood Eagle four-cylinder. And I'm Kale Maven, driver of the number 17 Legend car. And I'm Levi Morris, driver of the M80 Legend car. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back here. Another uh, episode of the Blood Eagle Racing Podcast. I got my two buddies with me, of course, as always, Kale and Levi. What's going on, guys? Not much. What's going on, bud? You sound tired. We are tired. We are an exhausting weekend. <laughs> yeah, it was a long weekend, man. Yeah, yeah. What's up? What's up with you, Levi? Are you tired too, or? I'm um, flat out exhausted. Uh, it was it was a, two very long days. Went for, uh, up at four in the morning on uh, Friday, going to work, and then made a beeline right to the track. And it was probably every bit of one o'clock in the morning or so by the time we finally wrapped up in Saturday morning, us getting into the RV and crashing for the night, getting ready for the next day of racing. Yeah, see, I know Kel doesn't go into work until about 11 a.m., but with you um, getting up at 4, did, did you fall asleep in the uh, in the lineup? I just about did. Yeah, I, there, I, I'm I've not going to lie. There has been times I have do- dozed off, and I have felt my head kind of, my Hans device kind of snag, and I was like, oh, uh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think I've done that uh Every Saturday, because I used to work up pretty much every Saturday. Um, I, I think I did that pretty much every night at La Trobe for the feature. I'd be sitting there, you know, no one's talking to me, obviously, or nothing, you know, and I'm just, I would just start dozing off. Then all the cars was, you know, of course, rev up, start up. That'd wake me up, and I'd start my car, and then we'd go. <laughs> but, uh, I feel like in, sta- in staging, the guy across the race heaver is definitely your best friend when it comes to knowing what's getting ready to happen. Yeah. <laughs> That's yep. my, that was my wake-up call. Yeah, I, Do I y'all always, use race receivers up there? Yeah, we use race receivers, yeah. yeah. He um yeah, they, they they do come across. They they, they do, but I am not gonna lie to you. I I can hear him. Um sometimes they're real, real loud and it just all depends on how close he is to the mic. Yeah. Well, you know, it also depends on how wild the person talks, it's yes. doing it too. If they're uh <coughs> excuse me. If they're soft spoken, forget about it. I'm sleeping. You know what I mean? Oh, they're yeah. put. They're putting me to sleep. I'm. I'm. I'm done with it. But uh, that's why I always actually like starting. Uh, if I was like in the front two rows, I can see what's going on at the track, so I know what you know what lap they're on. If I'm ever in the back, I can't ever see, and it feels like an eternity. Oh yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? But now you guys had um, back-to-back races at Atomic. Um, you know, Kel, go ahead and start us off. You know, you know, g- give us the rundown on what happened. Yeah, uh, Friday, Friday I was off work, so I drug the cars to the track for me and Levi, and uh, I had them out of the trailer and uh, just I hadn't fueled them up yet or air pressure or nothing. I just had them sitting there because we had a long wait before we was going to race, and they pushed our time back too. So, so we just we was just hanging out and uh, finally got going, and then the my car was just trash, man. I don't know. You know, after my wreck, I don't know if I missed something or I just, I didn't scale it back out and it, it was, was not handling good at all in qualifying. Levi was, was right behind me and it was just all over the place. Levi was fast, but I, my car was not right, but we got through that race or that qualifying. They went to the heat race. It still wasn't good. Couldn't figure out what what was making it. I know the rear end was out of square, but so we we kind of fixed that on Saturday morning for the Saturday night races. But we got through that night and then just you know got through with finishing. So that that was a good thing, and the car wasn't tore up. So and then we went to Saturday night and same thing, just it wasn't right. And so we tweaked on it during the day, but just never got it right. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's that's terrible, especially when you're having handling issues. That's just, yeah, that just sucks. I mean, because it could be so many things making that car. Yeah, loose, I know. You know? Mm, so yeah. that's I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna tear it down this week and just go back through and start from from the the, the beginning and just, you know, I'm not gonna strip it all the way down. I'm just gonna take the front of, of our the legend car off and square everything up and and then start from there and just do everything 
So that's the only way to do it to get it right. So that's what we're. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. And, and now, did you say it was? You know, did it feel like it was in the front end or back end, or was it just that bad? You just couldn't tell. You couldn't pinpoint. It felt like it was in the back end. Well, so maybe but... the rear end's out of square. Yeah, we well, it was, straight, we, it was pretty bad. It was out of square. So, so maybe we squared didn't. it up for Saturday, but there's still something not right. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But uh, now, Levi, how how did you know? Obviously, we heard how Kel's uh, you know night went. How, now, how did yours go? Uh, I mean, the car itself handled real well. I mean, this was the first real cha- opportunity I had to let that new motor really go wide open because um well the only other opportunity i have is at molar and uh all I get, we only got seven laps of a heat race and that track's a little bit smaller it's a quarter mile versus uh, atomic which is a three eighths but atomic's also steep bank so it's definitely a big momentum high rpm track so it was nice to really get that open the car set and felt great the whole time like there was there isn't a thing i can talk about wrong with the setup on it um qualifying was actually pretty fun for me because it was it was the first time I I was actually able to stay around Kale the whole time, and be able to actually race because usually he's pulling off and leaving me. So that was that made it a little bit enjoyable for me to actually be able to just sit there and hang hang with him through qualifying, try to put down the best lap I could. But uh, going out of the qualifying, we had a pretty decent little wait because they wanted to. They of course they had to get all the other stuff through, and we we it was pretty much. It was, uh, regular program whatever class went out first it just kind of repeated through the rest of the night on friday night but uh going into the heat races i gridded up ended up gridding up fourth in the second heat because we had 23 cars there was three heats um started fourth finished fourth but that i noticed that something was uh missing in the engine but i didn't quite know what it was i just thought it may have been overheating and all that where it's the first time i really cycled the engine since i've got it so i just kind of let it sit, kept the fans on it, got it cooled back down and getting ready for the feature. And then gridding up for the feature, uh, I started, I believe I started either 14th or 16th, fought my way up to 9th, and then by about halfway through the feature, I mean, it, it sounded like the engine was choking itself out. It was backfiring, sputtering. I couldn't keep the power down to it, but I was able to still manage to wheel the car around and end up with a uh, back in 14th. So if that's where I started, I finished where I started both in the heat and the feature. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I mean, when you're having problems, I mean, what, you just try to make the best. Uh, same with like handling. If you're having any kind of problems, you got to make the best of your worst night. And you know, that, that's that's the way to think of it as points. You know what I mean? But because I mean, everyone's right. gonna have a bad weekend. Everybody. You know, I don't care who it is. You just got to make the best of it. Um, you know, with what what what, what you got. So now. I know we talked, uh, well, we talked a little bit before and stuff, and I, I know some of the stuff that, that, that's happened um, to you guys. Now, going in um, to, to Saturday, that's because that's, that's, Friday was a pretty okay, normal normal show. You know, you guys had a good car count. And uh, heading into uh, Saturday, go ahead and tell us, uh, you know, t- tell us about you guys' night on, on that Saturday. Saturday, um there was four classes there, the late models, sprint car, 410 sprint cars, modifieds, and us. And uh, they pretty much kind of dumped on us a little bit. But anyway, the late models, sprint cars, all hot lapped and qualified. Then the modifieds, hot lap qualified. Then they had the uh, national anthem. Then we got to do our three laps of qualifying hot lap qualifying together and then then they ran the late models heats sprint car heats modified heats any b mains there was i don't know who all had a b main i think it was uh late late models and late models and sprints late models and sprints had b mains so they ran those and then they went back to the late model feature and then we got to run our heats after the late model feature so this is already getting to be a late night. And uh, after we ran our heats, then the sprints ran their feature. And then the 
modifies around their feature. And then, so we were next. And so we got going out there and we were going to run a 20 lap feature. We got in about lap two or three and one car hit the wall head on, tore it up pretty good, but they threw a red flag because the way he hit. So they stopped us on the track and we got going and we was getting ready to go back to green and like, well, we're changing it to 10 lap feature. And we're like, what? So then they had a couple of laps later, we had another wreck, the red flag because the car caught on fire. So we had another, another red flag. So waited around and then they went back to green and uh, one of the cars was going into one blew the motor and oil went all over the track. And so they could do another red because it was on fire. So we were sitting in our cars and they're like, uh, so much oil on the track. So we're going to decide to call the race. The 91's the winner. And in the race receiver, you can hear people in the tower cheering and saying, thank God that the race is over for us. And we only got like five laps in of our feature. They didn't want to clean up the, the oil so we could finish our feature. So we got five laps and our race director, he, he was not happy. He went up there to talk to the track and I don't oh, know what yeah. d- went down, yeah. but you know, we're, we're all there. We bringing families and friends and crew and spending money, you know, everything like that. You know, we don't have to pay to get in, but I mean, the family and friends do, and it's just, it's a lot of money, you know, people yeah, fork yeah. out to and, see this race. And, we was there for two nights. Yeah. And and you guys, car count, you guys get the car count. And yeah, you guys don't have to pay to get in, but for people that got to know, their series don't pay out. So they're not, they're, they're the, the only person, the only beneficiary of that event when the legend cars show up is the track owner. That's it. Right. Now, That's it. Now, now, let's say if that happened to, um, I, I, I don't know the the modified class or the late models. It's not like a lot of you, you know. I, I I'll be the one to say it. You know, a lot of people say, "Oh, a lot of good racing." Listen, every time I've watched a a, a decent a, a big show or a decent show or just even a normal night of uh, late models and mods and whatever, I don't really really never watch sprint cars, so I can't say sprints, but I imagine they're the same. It it's. It's terrible. It's a shit show. There's no good racing. You got people who spinning out all the time. You got 15 cautions. It's just, it sucks. It sucks. It drags on the night. Get them, get them off the track. Yes, four cylinders, legend cars, you know, bombers, pure stocks, or street stocks, or what. Yeah, like that lower tier, even though it ain't lower tier, none of us is, is lower tier anymore. We, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous to own a race car right now. It's, it's, it's through the roof. So everybody who shows up with the car, who wants to race, who put in the time, put in the money, you know, who, you know, heck, I, I want to get, um, I don't know, a couple rooms done in my house. But you know what? I call it an addiction. I choose to, I choose to put money in a yeah. race car. You know what I mean? That's the, that's, I, yeah. I make sacrifices to race. So whenever it's right. my, my time, and I'm not the only one out there who's like that. I've watched shows that, you know, I won't go this far, but, you know, people say, it's, if it's making a house payment or going racing, we're going racing. There's a lot of people like that. Oh, there's a lot. So when it when it comes down to it, you show up with the race car, you get the same amount of time. If if they don't have the time to, if, if they're going to run short on time and hit and hit their mark, where you know they they don't want to go over their, their their time frame, or I can't I'm, I'm I can't even think of it right now, then don't take that class on. There's four classes there. I'm sorry, I'm pointing that at, at the track. Get your shit together. Make it smoother. You know what I mean? Get 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 the people in and out. Go. Let's go. Hey, we everybody gets yeah. their, their fair shake. And, and that's the end of it. I mean, I just talked about this a little over a month ago or whatever that or whenever it was yeah. the, down at Screvern and I completely, you know, blew a gasket. And this is no different. This is no different. That what what needs to happen is stuff kinda like how uh uh Steven who's who is the track promoter, go up and, and I'll just tell him straight up, we ain't coming back. That's it. You guys want to treat us like a pile of dirt? Then, fine. Then you guys will never make a dime off of Legend Cars again. I don't care where it's at. I don't care if it's, you know, at Atomic, the fastest three eights. I don't. I don't care. I don't care if it's at Lernerville or Bristol or I don't. I don't care because at the end of the day, what does it matter if you go to a track like that if you just get treated like crap? There, it's not fun for nobody. 
It's not fun for you. It's not fun. And and I tell you what, the 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 promoter. It's just hey, they're, they're like the track promoters, owners, um, uh, series, some series. Uh, I guess you could say promoters and stuff, but not all of them. I I know a few that are real damn good. I know a few of them that I don't know what they're doing there. But they're a lot yeah. like the government. They shit on the little guy, and that's that's what we yeah. are. You know, they're they're they're, they're no right. different. They're they're no different. Right. And one thing I forgot to mention, too, is before our heat race on Saturday night, we're in the shoot. Everybody's lined up and they come out and say, because they usually give us like one minute per lap, you know, for the heat race. So if it's eight lap heat race, we get eight minutes to complete that race or, you know, it's over. Well, before we go out, you get eight laps or six minutes. They knock time off of off of us. But actually, I think. Saturday night, we went caution free in the heat races, did we not, Levi? Yep, as far as I yeah. know. It, yeah, caution free. Know. Yep. So, yeah, so, so so you had you had a, a a rough night. Everybody, every class, every person, we just talked about that. Every class, don't, I don't care what it is, except for, you know, if you're a late model driver or something, because it, that it's to, every time I watch it, it seems like it's all the time with the cautions. But the um, it, everyone has a rough night. Give a little leeway. You know what I mean. You guys had a hell of a car count Friday. You guys did one heck of a job. You know now be a little lenient. You know what I mean with 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 the Saturday night show. Stuff happens. It's just the way it is. That's it's racing. It's racing. You know collisions are on. They're not off. You yeah. Know? So yeah. It's it's that, that's it is the way it is. And you know I uh, I mean I I hope um Stephen told him to piss off because and I you know really wish. That uh, you know, as a four-cylinder driver who's real passionate about the sport, um, you know, I I hope uh, Kelly down there get you know says the same thing to Scrubbing. See you later. Yeah. Because anybody yeah. would take that kind of hundred something cars. Anybody would take that kind of kind of money, kind that kind of cash. That is right. That's, that's insane. I mean, they made four over forty fifty thousand dollars in in one night off of one class. Like you know, because it's I'm not getting into that again. Let's go back to listen yeah. to the. Scrabble yeah. and SCDRA, you want to hear yeah. me blow up. But, uh, <laughs> we, uh, yeah. we, we left it. What time did we leave, Levi? Two something? It was 140 when we was pulling out. Yeah. And it's just, yeah, that's, I don't know. That's, I, it's just not right. Well, a no. lot of us were pretty uh, fired up. I know we spent quite a bit of time, uh, just talking about the whole situation, checking up on the people they got in the wrecks and all that. But yeah, it's, I don't know what the outcome is going to be, but it is a very real threat right now that we're pulling the rest of our races from that from, from Atomic. Yeah, season. I would, I would. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I there, there, there's a meeting this week with Stephen and somebody from over there at Atomic. More so likely the owner. Yeah, the track owner. There, there we'll was, see what happens. There, there shouldn't even be a meeting. I would just say that's it. That's it. It ain't happening again. Is we're not. we any track would take that take that money. Any track, if you were smart. A thirty car count. If someone brings one person and it's twenty five bucks, so I'm not gonna do the math in my head. But <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? That's that's a that's a good chunk of money for you know. And that's the it's not that's not like that's the only class that's running. You know what I mean? I'm only saying one right. person. I know I bring two or three people with me every time. You know, um, so it's and, and a lot of them drivers are the same. They bring their family. You know, obviously, you know, Kel, you bring your family. Levi, you bring your family. That's four or five people right there, you know, or actually it'd be what, six or seven actually, including you two. But, um, you know, that's, that's what I'm saying. The, these series that as a legend car, four cylinder, you know, I, I, I can't really say much about the pure stocks and stuff anymore, but some, sometimes, you know, at least around here, they get, I know down your guys' way, it's not much, but like street stocks and stuff, but, but mainly them first two, you guys are getting 30 car. We, we get 30 car count. So, we got a lot more power than what anybody thinks. If 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 a series promoter would just shut it down, I'm telling you right now. I, I talked to one of the promoters up here, and whenever I was, uh, you know, I I was you know just talking to him and stuff, and he said, "Listen, I can't get rid of the four cylinder class, you know, because I was, I, I'm not gonna lie, I was complaining about something." And he goes, "He goes, the owner wants to get rid of him." He goes, "But as a money man, we can't." He goes, I've seen the car count go from 15, I mean, I'm sorry, from 25, from 30, 25, 15, 10. I've seen that. I, I, I'm seeing it happen. 
and we're losing money. We need to get back to the 20s to, to start making you know more money again. That's what it's about. Yeah. It's all about money. If you don't have money, you ain't going to have a track. That's that's, that's yeah. plain and simple. Yeah. We um, – our series, I mean, we're usually 20-something strong every week, right, Levi? I mean – Just about, yeah. We had back-to-back – back-to-back nights. We had 23 the first night and 22 the second night. Yeah. I mean, because at the end of the day – Especially now, and it's only going to get worse. I think next year is going to be be uh, a lot different. I mean, um, I think you're going to see a lot. Me personally, with the way everything is, you're going to see the car count go down tremendously in late models, in pure stocks, in in everything. I'm going to tell you why. Right now, nobody can get nylon for tires, and that's hurting a lot. Gas is, you know, if you run a VP110, I mean, I run VP110 too, but if I break a shock, that shock costs me 90-something bucks. They don't cost me 300. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying the price differences. Uh, but, right. you know, that's that's $14 a gallon. You know, and you got to run straight racing fuel if you're in a, you know, so for the for the 9 to 5 or the guy who makes, you know, a, a decent amount, it, to, to run them other classes, it's, it's, it's just, you're going to cut a lot of people out. I mean, unfortunately, racing's a dying sport. Because it's too damn expensive. So that's going back mm-hmm. to, you know, you guys and us. And when we put, when we come, you know, hey, I I got I got more money in my car than I know some pure stocks and street stocks. I know that for a fact. You know what I mean? So we're, we're and actually, I know a couple guys, I'm probably, I probably got more money than their late model. I mean, not, I'm not saying they're out there winning races, but I got more money in them. So, yeah. what, so why, why would we get treated like dirt and, you know, you guys get treated like dirt? When we put in the time and the money, the same, the same. This is why I can't get, I, I, I can't understand it because it's the only decent thing to do. I'm going off here. I'll let you guys talk. I'm getting, I'm, I'm red in the face. <laughs> so. Yeah, you. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say that's kind of, it's kind of fun to get you like that. So when it, it, it makes for a very interesting recording session. Yeah. Well, listen, I've been, I've been a four cylinder driver. For a long time, and I've been there when we got shit on big time, getting paid fifty bucks. Actually, not even getting a pay, just get getting a hat. But that was back in the day when someone had, you know, fifteen hundred bucks in their race car, which was a lot, you know, two grand. Now it's different; it's completely different. But it's just at the end of the day, the one thing you cannot get back is time. That's it. That's all. Yeah. We're, we're all gonna die. So we got it. We spend it how we want. And I spend mine in the garage working on a car. You guys spend your time in the you know garage working on a car. So when you do, and it's your time to get out there and, you know, race, that's that's your time. I mean, so you are owed that by the track. Everybody is. So don't take the time away. You're going to cut your time from 8, 10 minutes, and you're going to cut 4 minutes off and not even finish your heat race fully because the the, the, the track uh, staff and or, or the tower – you know, they, they can't get through it fast enough. I wonder why that is. What did I say earlier? The racing and late models and stuff suck. It, they do. It does. I'm sorry. You know, you'll have, you'll have a few decent races. And guess what? I can send you races from Latrobe where we went green the whole time. You know, and that wasn't just once or it wasn't a one-off thing. We did that every week. Damn near. So it's just, that's, why yeah. I, that's why I run down there because it's clean, good racing. I, I said I'd never seen one race. Uh, to the whenever I traveled around, that came down to the wire, came down to losing by a bumper. I didn't see one race, but guess well, one race in another class. But I did see that in the four cylinders a few times. So tell me which which one's the better racing? Uh, let's do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just, yeah. 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 Oh my God. And, but back back uh, back home in Texas, <laughs> what I what I like about what I like about what I like about how they do the classes down there is. Is let's say we don't have late models down there, but say they run modifieds first on this night. Say they got five classes, they got modifieds run first. Well, guess what? Next week they run fifth, and then they move back up fourth, then the third, then the second. That way, the same the the lower guy isn't always running last every week. They move it around, and I think every track should do that. Yeah. Well, if one week late models first, and uh modified steel blocks or sport mods or in legend cars the next week everybody moves up one spot or that, that one goes back and because really if you think about it, if you run the late models first and they run their race what happens to the stands 
people are gone because they yeah. wanted to see the late models. If you hold people there, to me, you're going to make more money because they're going to be last or, you know, towards yeah, the end. But but guess what? They're, they're going to go to concession a little more. You know, yeah, that's might, what I'm saying. Instead going of buying that one drink, to... they might buy two. But if, if you know, you know oh, that's only one drink. Well, guess what? If you have 100-something people do that or whatever, go and buy an, an extra drink, I mean, that's just more money in, in your pocket. You know, now they're buying food, you know, because their kid's hungry or whatever. You know what I mean? It's just, it, it, yeah. it is, and that is fair. That's fair to the racer. Yeah, you got to yeah. have fans, I... but without, you got to have, you, it, it's tough because you have to have them both. You can't have fans yeah. and no cars. And you can't have cars yeah. and no fans. It's it, it's got to be in the middle, but hey, I mean, I I think really what it is when it, when it comes down to the late model stuff is a lot of people just like the you know the the speed of it, I guess you could say. The right. Speed, yeah. the sound, like yeah, yeah, big high rev and roaring V eight. Yeah, yeah, we can go on this all night, but yeah, yeah. it's just it's just. But it's anyway, just I mean, hopefully it gets better. We'll 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 find out this week. Uh, what comes of the meeting? Meeting, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll definitely keep me posted on that. But um, yeah, we'll definitely but, have a, we'll definitely have some news for next week's podcast, more than likely. Yeah, yeah, good. Well, and we'll probably you know pick right up where we left off. And I mean, that, this is this is why we started this. This is why I started it because you know I, I was sick and tired of always seeing. You know that's why I, you, you don't see nothing on, um, you know even now our website. Which now speaking of that, everyone go check it out. Um, it's going to be in a link here, uh, in the description. Um, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm still trying to figure out the whole Google thing. It works for some people. Some people it doesn't. So you might have to copy it and put it in your, your URL and, uh, you know, you, you'll be fine. It'll take you right to the website. If not go on a Facebook page, um, the links there as well. Uh, you know, we got news on there. We got pictures, we got local drivers, you know, so if you want to be a local driver on the website, just get a hold of us. We'll get you some stickers. Send us a picture with a sticker on your car. Boom, we'll put you on there. And uh, we're just trying to get the word out. And um, yeah, that's a. That's a so we'll actually speaking of that local drivers, we got someone who I ended up meeting last year um, after being fed up with some of the racing. You know, real local. I ended up taking a trip down to Latrobe, and then I ended up staying. But someone I met down there, Adam Jones. We actually going to have him on a podcast here tonight, and uh, or here on this episode i shouldn't really said tonight but um so yeah we're gonna go ahead we're gonna uh he's actually waiting on us we're gonna go ahead and get him here um on the line and we'll be right back and on the phone we got a good buddy of mine someone who i met last year down on the trip whenever i started heading down there uh adam jones what's going on adam oh how's it going guys going good man actually i ended up seeing you today uh you had old scrappy out um, you know, blowing the dust, uh, blowing the dust off of her. Oh, uh, yes, sir. I love that thing. This thing never lets me down. <laughs> <laughs> she just keeps going 200,000 miles. That's it, Keeps man. on ripping. That's it. Now, I know, I don't know if, um, I know you haven't met Kel, but Levi ended up coming up, uh, when was that, Levi? August or? Uh, yeah, it was, it was right near the tail end of August last year. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, he ended up coming up from Ohio, and uh, he came down um, uh, Latrobe Bear uh, with me. Oh, and I definitely I, met him then. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure because well, you know where I always park because I I park across from you. Yeah, yeah if, we always park so, side by side usually. Yeah. So um, and yeah, so I I imagine you you've talked to him or you saw him or or something. And that's that's that you know that's 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 pretty cool because the. Uh, um, you know, Kel, he doesn't have the time to, to come up and see me. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> cool. You got friends like that, man. That's, <laughs> that's hard to come by. That's it. That's it. Now, um, now, last year was your rookie season, right? Now we're doing something a little different. We never really had someone, you know, brand new, pretty much, or or maybe not new to racing, but new as a driver. Now, yeah. last last year was that your first year? Uh, I drove the year before uh, twice at the end of the year. I went out and bought a $600 neon that was already built. Had a, wasn't raced in uh, four years. Oh, no, can and you still have I that put neon? put a battery in it and just took it out. Nope, that's, uh, what, that's what the cage that's in Scrappy came out of. Oh, do you have any parts? No, it's gone. Oh, you're that killing me. That thing was me. a honk, man. It was, you know on them neons how the back bolts come off the unibody? Yep. Those things were ripped off. Yeah, I had to put a plate on mine. 
Yeah, I, I know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, so, so you raced a little bit. So actually, that's about the same time I got back into it. I got back into it in 2019 or, yeah, it would have been 2019. I raced. Yeah, uh, 2019. Yeah, I, I raced it. And actually, I came. that was the first time I actually ever raced at Latrobe was for their money race in 2019. And, um, oh, okay. Yeah, so then, then I ended up. Uh, then, so that would have been 20, no, that was 2020 because 2021 was last year. So yeah. So anyway, um, <laughs> ended up, so me and you've been running about the same, about, you know, dang near two years, two and a half years or whatever. Oh yeah. So, uh, now what I got to ask you is what, what got you in to becoming a driver? Cause I know you said, you know, talking to you before about, um, you know, you've, you've been, you've been going to Latrobe. So what made uh, that light bulb kick off? Like, hey, you know what? I'm going to go out and I'm going to get myself a car. Uh, my old man and my pap that you met, they used to run pure stocks back whenever I was growing up. And it's been in my blood ever since. Ever since I was a little kid. Uh, so I just finally uh, finally settled down with my kids and stuff. I'm going to house and stuff. I said, I'm, I'm ready to do this. Yeah, so so you've been wanting to, to to get behind the wheel for for a while now, and um, so what what made you pick? You know, heck, you said you you know you're saying about you how your dad uh, and them ran uh, ran uh, pure stocks. What made you get into the four cylinder? Oh, I know a good bit about them. Okay, That's like I grew up with uh, the Ecotex with my buddies and stuff like that. They all built the LSJs and stuff. Okay, it's just. Pretty much just knowing. Yeah, yeah, and you know what? And that's what a lot of people, the old timers, ain't ain't ain't. Uh, you know, they grew up with the small block Chevys. We grew up with. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cause I, I I I think me and you are almost around the same age. Um, oh yeah, I'm 27. Uh, yeah, I'm a year older. Than you, so it's not. Yeah. So so we grew up with the uh, with the, I guess you could call them tuners. You know what I mean? With the four cylinder. You yeah. know. Uh, you know, aluminum heads and or all aluminum motors. We, we grew up with that stuff, you know, tinkering around. So I, I think for sure, and I say it on the podcast all the time, that um, I think down the road, you know, it's 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 that's why the four cylinders are big and are for the cost for what you're getting into them. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, you can definitely spend, you know, a lot if you want. <laughs> but... Yeah. And another one of my biggest things with the four cylinders is. When you can take a car off the street and make it go through a cornfield at 90 mile an hour and turn it around and do it again and again and again, and it just keeps going, that's something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, they don't understand, especially running the Trobe, man. I, I've broken they parts. a fast track. Very fast. Very fast. I mean, my car starts, and I, I got brand new stuff. I mean, I don't, I don't shy away from nothing. And uh, yeah, I had struts completely. It looked like someone cut them. They just started peeling off because you know when you're going in there sliding, <laughs> it just it's all that you know because I mean? you're moving. And hey, it's oh just, yeah, it is what but it is. You got to think all the stress you're putting on everything, all the bearings, like all the factory bearings and stuff like that. It's just insane to me. Yeah, well, cavies. That's what uh, um, a lot of guys got to watch out with is because that rear hub that comes off. I've seen that so hub. many times. Oh, so many times. The cobalts are stronger. You don't have to put the safety hub on them. No kidding. I didn't know that. Yep. Okay. Yep, and the Cobalts have a full front K-frame, too. I thought you were building a Sunfire. Remember, I did, but uh, I was looking at it, and I said, this thing is going to crumple. So I stick with the Cobalt. Yeah, yeah you, you, you're better off, dude, especially running that half mile, man. You don't want to. You don't want to be in a, yeah. you know, in a can that's getting ready to crush. You, you know what I mean? You've seen how many how many times I've ripped that whole front frame off last year. <laughs> About three times that front end got blown to pieces. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Now I know um, uh, Levi and Kel, they both got questions for you, um, so I'll 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 shut up for now. But uh, go ahead, uh, Kel. Yes, go, go ahead, Kel. Uh, ask him what you want to ask. Him. Um, what? What what is the biggest difference for you from like being a fan and now becoming a racer? You know what I mean. I mean, uh, what's the difference? Not much for me because I've always had that like respect level for it all. Like right. I don't look at me as any. I don't know how to explain it. I'm just a kid driving a race car is the best <laughs> way. 
Yeah, what what I think he's now. yeah what what I think he's trying to say is what what did you well see you were around it I mean especially with your uh, old man and stuff yeah but um going from in the stands to to on the on the track what 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 could you you know say what the biggest different difference was as in like which how you thought it was gonna be to actually how it is oh the track's way bigger than what it is in the stands. <laughs> from looking at it dude you go out on that track you're like man this is huge and just it's just freedom that's all it is to me now, um, uh, yeah now go ahead Levi uh, w- 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 for what you had for him I was going to say on top of that too which as you are getting into racing like, uh, this is only my second year in Kel's third year which he he started about the same way. Got two uh, two races in, and what was it, 2019, Kale? You got your first two in. Yeah. Uh-huh. So we're 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 right around in the same boat with you on at least on that part. But I I grew up as a fan in the stands. So, I mean, you had a leg up on me there being in the pits growing up. But um, well, now that you got actually get behind the wheel, actually driving the car, what what do you usually do to actually try to improve where you're running? Do you try to follow the other drivers that are ahead of you? Do you just go out and throw something at it and see what best fits or do you actually like something we're testing is like just having a recording and seeing how you run on the track and actually going back and look what what will do that what you do that you do to improve yeah it's pretty much just figuring it out just going out and doing it i i tried like whenever i first started watching what other people were doing and that was just screwing me up i, I just you. started i just started to have to do what do my own thing yeah. And me being automatic, too, really messes with some stuff because I have to run certain lines and stuff to keep my revs up. And Ah, uh, yeah, I got you there. Yeah, That's one thing Tyler always gets on me, my automatic. I want to try to beat <laughs> people with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I that's mean. Really, that's a little extra clout there if you're actually able to say that. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I know. Only, I knew a guy who kicked a lot of people's asses running automatic. I ain't saying nothing. I'm just saying, I mean, uh, if you can get it to work, and like you know, then that's great. I mean, not a lot of people that's do what it. I'm working on right now is getting it to work. <laughs> I mean, so, what a, so a track like a track like a trailer would be perfect for that one then too. But well, what I noticed when I was up there watching, it was kind of more of a, uh, it was more of a um, momentum track than it was really like a. One where you have to stab the brakes, get it set up, get it going around. So is that track a little bit easier on that being an automatic, being able to keep your RPMs up, or is it, or does it still work out like going down to a three eighths mile, say like Dog Hollow or some of the others up in that area? Oh, it's pretty easy. I don't have to set set the back end or nothing. I just it's just all throttle. Yeah, all La, throttle. La, La Trobe is that La, La Trobe's that way. I mean, I I don't yeah I don't lift nearly. Actually, Marion Center is smaller than Dog Hollow and La Trobe. And I lift more at, on Marion Center just because the turns are tighter. One thing about Latrobe is it's real wide, so you yeah, can run you can it hammer down. Yeah, you can run you can run it in a lot a lot harder. Actually, if you want to talk about what I get on you and your brother about the most is you guys don't run it in hard enough. Yeah, so, you always <laughs> tell me that. You said I need to, I'm turning too early. I'm turning way too early. Oh, well, I need to do is I, I need to get a uh, I, I need to get a uh, radio in there, and I'll just yell at you, yell at you the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> it'd work. I'm telling you, it'd work. I need it. I'll you always tell here. me that. I think he'd have a little bit too much fun if he had a radio in the car to talk to another person. <laughs> he'd be doing everything he could to get. He wouldn't be helping. He'd be doing what he can to get in their head. Oh man. <laughs> but what? Um, I mean, uh, What's your plans for this year? What, uh, uh, so what are you, so you're going to start, are you going to run the stock class? Are you going to run the modified class? I mean, what's, what, what's your plan? Uh, I just talked to the quad father yesterday. I was over there and my motor should be done Tuesday. So either, or if it's not done, I'm still going to run the mod class with the stock motor for points until that one's done. Man, how that's a, uh, you got to break that puppy in. Oh, we're breaking it in race day. Oh, man, you got the balls because ain't no way I'd do that. Ain't no way I'd We'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess. I guess. Uh, so, so, with running the, you know, what's, so what's your goal? What, what, what's your goal for this year running, running the mod class? Top 10 points. 
top ten yeah. points, I'd be happy. If I could get, if I could squeeze out a feature somewhere, that'd be cool. But yeah, we're not setting the bar too crazy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. What? Uh, I mean, do you, heck, you, how many cars do you think is going to be down there? I bet you we're going to have another thirty cars. In the mod class. Yeah, because I know people. There's people coming from other tracks to run the mod class. Well, who would I? They don't. Well, there's still no VTEC, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, as in there is no VTEC. But I know people that didn't that didn't build the uh, VVT EcoTech motors. They just put the one the uh, first gens in that I have, just for late trub. So I know that's why Rob Williams built his like that. Oh, the no. trub. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Ah, that's good. Good. Some more, some more competition down there. I like it. I like it. Oh, I got heck, Yeah. That's I got what I'm saying. There's going to be a lot of heavy hitters down at Lake Trobe this year. Yeah. I mean, last year you had it, it all it all depends on 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 the night really, but if if Pease was there, he was the one to go for. And then you had Burkett. Um I mean, the Grubs they they would run they would run pretty good. Uh Koffler, he would run pretty good and uh Oh yeah. I can't remember that. I I feel like crap right now, but uh, and I didn't even mention him on the podcast. Now that I'm thinking about it, uh, who who ran 12? He passed away. Well, I can't remember his name. Jeff Jeff oh, something. Jeff Vassos. Yeah, he Jeff Vassos. Fast. Boy could drive. Yeah, yeah, that's a shame what happened to him. Um, but yeah, he had those Some guys. guys fall to dirt and kicking kicking ass. Yeah, so actually, the last time I talked to him, we got an argument. Because uh, we uh, we were bumping a little bit, and he says, "I'm not used to that. I'm not, I, you know, I come from asphalt. We don't touch each other." I'm like, "Well, dude, it's my bad. I'm I'm, I'm trying to get around you. What the heck? What do you want me to do?" But uh, yeah. it was it was it was good racing with him. But uh, yeah, I, I, I honestly, I, my expectation this year for Latrobe would be that not, uh, man. I'm gonna tell you right now, I I wouldn't. I thought there was gonna be more than 12 guys in the in the mod class. Who who did you all hear that's coming? Uh, Rob, I know that, uh, that uh, he... dude's coming back with that neon, mm. uh, all the other dudes that were there before, I have to look on my Facebook. Yeah, good. I don't think Rob's going to be down there every week, but he, mm -mm. he yeah, he, he definitely there will show no up. Yeah, he, he's he going to have to put a trunk on that thing. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Job don't like it. Yep, yep. Yeah, for sure. Um. Yeah, that well, well I mean, we track this like that, but you, you know, actually, I, they, they must have just did the down bars thing because I don't remember when I went there with my first car, and even last year in the beginning. Yeah, of the I year, had to explain it to people today at Dog Hollow that were well, coming to Lake Trobe. They gotta have down bars. Yeah. Yep. yep. That was that was something that I think changed after that rollover. Oh yeah. You remember that? Because uh, like I said, yeah. in the beginning of the year, I I didn't have down bars and they didn't say nothing to me. I passed tech, but then I got my other car, and I had down bars in it, so they ended up um uh making it okay. But heading to um I I know I'm asking all the questions. Sorry guys, but um uh, <laughs> heading <laughs> heading into so to, to this year and actually even last year, what. You really like Latrobe. I know you got some, you know, uh, history there, but you know other tracks around. I mean, what I know you you've been to a few different places. Actually, before I even knew you, and before I started coming down Latrobe, I actually watched a video the other day, and me and you ran, ran in the same heat race at Marion Center. I didn't even know that, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we um, but you know, with the other tracks that you ran, I mean. I, I know you're gonna probably say Latrobe, but if so, why? And if it ain't Latrobe, what is what's better at the other tracks? Is what I'm what I'm gonna ask. Well, Latrobe, you already know that one. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew you're gonna head just there. Just the but... size of it, and I'm just comfortable there. I've known everybody there pretty much my whole life, and the track they always keep that track nice. I've ne I think I've drove on that track once whenever it was bad, and that was on a big block night. And that wasn't their fault. <laughs> yeah. You know I, what I mean? Oh, for sure. I, I know. Well, actually, from what I can remember last year, the first night was the worst. After that, it, it the, the track was, it's the best. I, and I, I, I said it many times. I said it to Howie when we had him on yeah. here and stuff. I said it, that, that track alone beats everybody just because of the track yeah. state. 
But I tried Roaring Knob on Friday for the first time, and I like that. It's it's just a pretty far haul for me, about yeah. two hours for me. Yeah. And uh, I tried Dog Hollow today, and I love Dog Hollow. Yeah, that was, was such a good check. So I Fast. mean, it was, it was it was rough today. What are you talking about? I liked it though. I liked the bank, the little bit of bank it had. I'm not used to the bank. Yeah, yeah. It, I don't it, get that a lot. Marion Center's too small for me. Yeah. yeah. I know. Actually, believe it or not, back in the day, we would go faster at Marion Center than we would at Dog Hollow. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I uh, they the state cop came out and uh, hit us with, with a radar one time. This is back when Hickox used to run a lot. And um, they, yeah, actually, Marion Center was faster. That was back whenever it was all clay, no topsoil, no junk. And you could get on that high side and just keep your momentum up and really just eat. I mean, it was it was something. So, I mean, because back then, too, I don't know, maybe not anymore, because back then the middle and bottom was dominant um, for yeah. the four cylinders. So now that you're running the top, I bet you you probably go uh, a little bit faster now in the um, – in the uh, in a four-cylinder class. Yeah, I think if I threw some smaller tires on, I'd be all right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what, do you plan on running Dog Hollow at all? Yeah, I'm going to run it once or twice this year. Okay, okay. Just to see see how it is. I want to run it with people, not during practice. Yeah. That's how you get the better feel for it. Yeah, for sure. For sure. But, um, but yeah, man, I mean, that's, uh, you know, I, I know – from the beginning of last year to your last few races that I've seen, um, I mean, you you definitely were running a lot better, especially with what you got. I mean, you got a stock motor, you know, um, and and everything, and you know, just really being your first full year last year. Um, I mean, I, I saw I saw improvements, but dude, you just got to run it in harder. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You'll but, see, brother. You'll see. <laughs> don't run it. Hey, listen. If I'm above you, if I'm above you, don't run it in hard. Don't no, run it into. Don't we're run it in too it. hard. <laughs> you heard him, boys. You heard him. Well, it's re it's being recorded, so <laughs> we can go back and listen. Oh man, would that be something? Oh my. I, I can't wait, guys. Tyler. <laughs> What's up, brother? You don't have triple numbers, do you? No. Okay. Real race cars don't. He's, he's on the okay, website. Here's the he's on the website. <laughs> I know. I saw it on there. Okay. I just like to put it out here on the recording. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Adam, we thank you all. Uh, thank you for coming on. But before we uh, before we let you get back to it, um, which you talk about, you build a lot on the car yourself. Do you have any any other people to help you out? Any sponsors to help you out on that car? Uh, sponsors are all my family, me, my old lady, my pap, my dad, my gram. Pretty much it. We built that thing out of scrap. <laughs> That's why his name's Scrappy Do. Yeah. Good deal with that. What it's all about. Yes, sir. Well, thank you, boys. Hang I on. appreciate it. Yeah, yeah not a problem. Uh, yeah, we wish you good luck on the race, and I I hope to get to. If you see your race again, I'm planning on coming up that way at some point this year to see what time I can get up there. Hopefully you're right. hopefully you're gonna plan to be at the track when I'm there. All right. I I'm always there, brother. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I, I roll you. that thing and it's total, we'll put a cage in a new car and we'll be there next week. <laughs> uh, again, man, I appreciate your time on it and we'll uh, we'll let you get back to it. All right, boys, you have a good one. All right, bud. Thank you. And that was our good buddy, Adam Jones. Man, he's always a good time to talk to. Uh, super happy to have him on the show and stuff. Actually, I got to, uh, uh, this weekend coming up, I got to take him down some stickers. Um, some Blood Eagle Racing podcast stickers. I got some for him with his name on it. So I'll see you him still got there. some? Yeah, I still got some. I still got some. We'll get into that here in a second. But, um, yeah, hopefully, you know, t touch back on it. I'm I'm really nervous now. Hopefully he doesn't just send her uh, right up to my driver's <laughs> side door. That's not going to be fun. <laughs> nah, he's a, oh he's, a, he's a good dude and a good driver, so I, I, I trust him on my inside. But, yeah, now uh, heading into um, uh, to, to news here, because uh, I know we're running – actually, it's quite, it's quite a long show, but hey, that's good. I mean, a, a very, very juicy podcast this week. Um, 
Now he- heading into news, remember the Bloody Go Racing pod, uh, the Bloody Go Racing dot com. Um, we we got news up there all the time. Every, you know the the ones that stuck out to us. Uh, we normally update them every Monday or Sunday. It all depends uh, when we get the news, but uh, always go on there and check it out. It's on the homepage. Um, we got a few links on there. It's you know to our Facebook page. And then it is also towards, uh, there's another link, the SCDRA Northeast website. We're going to get the, um, uh, actually, does does your guys' series have a website? Yeah, we do. Um, I, I don't know. The, it's It's got a different name than what the actual series is. We'll have to get you, yeah. get you a link, link to it. that to be able to yeah. get that on. Yeah, I'll and, put that uh, on there too. And I know the Tri-State series as well, they handled most of their stuff through Facebook, so I'll have to get you a screenshot of that their schedule so far if we want to add that on as well so that yeah, way i can always just add the link to their facebook page yeah okay that works then but uh head in the news here uh uh the northeast they just put this past week just put up their um the 28th um at, at midway speedway uh their event the five thousand dollar win um <clears throat> they're open up for early registration may 1st for two weeks so coming up here uh, next week, their early registration is going to be up 75 bucks. After that, it's going to go to 100 So if you plan on being there, make sure you get a, get a hold of them guys and uh, get uh, get signed up. It's uh, the top three. that the, He actually has the whole payout on the um, Facebook page, but the top three is five grand, two grand, and 1200 So it's going to be a nice payday for somebody. Uh, I'll, I'd be fine with 1200 bucks. I'll take a third. All day, but uh, that's yeah. that's about all I got um, really for news. Um, like I said, keep checking out the uh, Blood Eagle Racing website and uh, you know to stay up to date with everything with us, with what's going on locally. You know, Ohio. You know, even if you want to, you know, message us. You know, email us. You know, your story about the weekend. And if it's good enough, hey, we'll put you on there. You know, send us a video so we can watch it, and then we'll do our own write-up. You know, so it's for everybody. It ain't just for people who we know. We want everybody to be involved. So make sure 110%. If you got something good, you got something juicy, send it to us, and we'll write about it. Uh, Kel, wh- wh- what do you got? Um, I got one thing. Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, David Rogers from Chicken Moan Alley Podcast for helping you <laughs> get us going on uh, Apple Podcasts. So spread the word to all the all your friends and family to, uh, we appreciate the follows on the Apple podcast. And I've been on Tyler for what a year now oh about trying God. to get on that. It was all <laughs> but <time>. I just, <laughs> but, uh, I just think that's gonna, uh, do good things for the podcast and leading us on the website. Maybe put that on the website too, for people that don't have Facebook and stuff that they can reach us on Apple podcast now. So that's, that's cool. And if you anybody has any questions and, or if they want to give a review, give us a review on that. We appreciate that. And uh, thanks yeah. to everybody that listens to us every week. And uh, we just have a blast doing this. We love racing and um, we're just here for the little guy. And thanks to all of our sponsors that help us with our podcast and our race teams. and. And yeah, for sure. For thanks sure. For, now, thanks for, thanks Tyler for uh, starting the recording and everything for us every week. Yeah, that, I'm not gonna lie, everybody. That Apple Podcast stuff was that was rough. That was rough. I'm I'm a little tech savvy. Not I'm not. I, I ain't that good. I'm, but I I can kind of sort of figure something out. I had one heck of a time with that that dang thing. But um, now I'm glad we're up on there now. But before we head to the sponsors, um, now on our on our website. I'll take you right to the podcast. I got all, I got the links to um, Spotify, to uh, Pandora, now Apple Podcast, you know, or if you listen to us on iHeartRadio or Podbean, the um, it's just underneath podcast. You're going to see all, there's this little button you click, bam, it'll take you right to, um, uh, you know, our, our show that's on that platform. And you can listen to, you know, the newest one or, the, you know, the beginning. I mean, it's, it's up to you or, or whatever in between. Uh, now we're talking about it. I know I got some. I know I have some stickers. I know Kel got some stickers. If you want, you know, just get a hold of us through the email. I'm trying to work out uh, merchandise. Eventually, we would like to have some hats. We'd like to have some shirts. And like I said, we stickers. We have some stickers. We got three inch and five inch. 
just uh, get a hold of us, and um, you know we can we can talk about uh, you know getting you some stickers and that. Um, also, we'll have different stuff like uh, Kel does uh, River Town Racing. That's Kel's thing. Kel, you know, I, I talked to him if you want to sell some of his shirts, some Kel Maven shirts, or you know Levi. You know, we're gonna throw that up on there. Maybe my own personal shirt. If it's not, you know, just a Blood Eagle Racing podcast stuff, if you'd like to have one of our shirts as well. Um, you know, I'm, we're, we're, we're in the works of doing that right now. We're, we're trying to see how much in- interest is there, and then we're going to go We're gonna go from there. But definitely, if you want stickers, we got stickers. So just, just, just hit us up on that, and we'll get you taken care of. Um, but, yeah, uh, now, Levi, I know you got the, uh, the old, old sponsor list here for us. Yes, I do. For sponsors, we want to thank First Guardian, our good buddy Colt Mitt down uh, up in Peebles, Ohio. Started that. Uh, still working with that whole program, uh, trying to get it growing. It's an awesome program to have. All it is, you just put in your information, get you a QR code printed, and you can place it like I like on mine. I've got it on my helmet, and all, all it is is if you're caught in an accident and something happens, track code can give you a scan that QR code and have all of your immediate necessary medical needs first con- emergency contact list that way helps out with the medical personnel and making sure you're taken care of we've also got side of smiles which is a dentistry down in new boston ohio which is owned and operated and uh, the main dentist there or orthodontist there is Teresa, which is kill's wife not orthodontist not orthodontist well i guess she does braces but she's not technically a orthodontist she's just oh, that's a- that's like in the basement stuff She's a, no, she does. She can do. She does braces for for no. whoever, but she's not technically an orthodontist. But well, thank well, you for that. Hey, I'm not though. technically a thank doctor. You, but, hey, if I, I'm not technically a doctor, but uh, come on over and if you need sewed up or something, I can uh, do for a low price. That's right. Thank you, Levi, for for giving the shout out. Though I appreciate yeah. it. I I I I learned something new new uh, with the terminology there, but also we want to thank uh, Southern Ohio Speed, which is local to us, but it is one of the uh, Premier U.S. Legends dealers covering the entirety of West Virginia, Southern Ohio, uh, Eastern Kentucky. They handle all the INEX license stuff for the Legend cars, able to get you any of the parts you need. But they also have branched out, handle a lot of your drag racing needs. They've got a lot of different uh, car uh, tire preps, different uh, harnesses, all the type of linkage parts you could probably imagine. Get a hold of the hunter there, they'll get you taken care of. And also we got Texas Auto Ranch, which is... uh, family uh business that uh to tyler so you can get all of your salvage cars salvage car parts get all that all the stuff you need there for which i've actually been there helping tyler get some parts off to keep a uh, four-cylinder on a track before uh, they definitely uh-huh. got a lot of a lot of the things you need for sure yeah and like i said if it wasn't for sponsors you know we uh we wouldn't it's 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 hard for the racer not to be able to or be able to do, you know, go out and, and, and enjoy what he enjoys doing. So, and, you know, even you know, that's for us and for the podcast. So it's, it's just a great thing all around and we got to give them their time and a light. So it's, um, yeah. it's, it's fantastic. And we appreciate all of them. That's for sure. But I actually, yeah, I think that that's great. it here for this week. I mean, man, what an episode. That, this is a good one. It got me sweating. It got, it's, it was warm up here today it was a uh, good old 80 degrees finally so we had snow monday 80 degrees on on uh, sunday so um it was it was fantastic but i um next week like i said keep checking out that uh the the page and the website and we will catch everybody next week you're glad